Okay, um, the Census Bureau has just released some educational attainment data and um, I would like to show you how to um, uh, view this data, um, analyze it a little bit, and how to chart this data um, in Excel um, in case you want to use it in a report um, of some sort. Okay, so first we go to the census.gov website and then we want to go to bachelor's degree um, attainment top 30% for the first time since the Spear reports. So I actually want to just go to this page here. Okay, that's where the data is. Okay, and over to the right here you'll see um, some um, links to Excel files. Um, the top educational attainment in states, educational attainment in metro areas. So we're actually going to look at the metro. You can do state, but we're actually, for this example, going to be looking and analyzing the metro areas. And we're going to just go ahead and click this link. And then we're going to open up the file that contains the data. Okay, I'm going to open up my Excel sp spreadsheet a little bit more. Okay, go to the top. Okay, um, what it does is it shows us the percentage of um, people in these particular metropolitan areas um, that have um, the percentage that have high school diplomas and the percentage that have bachelor's degrees or higher. Um, so what we're going to do for this example is look uh, specifically at um, bachelor degree, bachelor degrees or higher. Okay, um, so in order to do this, what we're going to do is hide the other three columns. So we're only working with the bachelor's degree or higher uh, column. And how we do that is we select the columns um, that we want to hide. Okay, we want to right click once we have those columns selected, click hide. And then we're going to do the same thing for the margin of error column. We're going to select it, right click, hit hide, and that gets rid of um, those columns so we can only work with the um, columns that we need for this example. Next, we're going to take this data and we're going to format it as a table. Once we format it as a table, then we're able to do some analysis on the data um, a little bit easier than um, in this particular um, state. So we're going to just grab the, um, the rows um, and columns, starting with geography, and we're going to drag, we're actually going to select all this information down to the last metropolitan area, which happens to be Washington, D.C., because it's in alphabetical order by geography. Um, and then we're going to click Format as Table. And then we're going to select one of these different um, table formats. Uh, I'll choose this one. Okay, so this is the um, these are the cells that we want to make the table from. Um, we do have headers, geography, and estimate. Okay, and we're going to hit OK. Okay. So right now, like I said, um, they're still um, sorted alphabetically by geography. But what we want to do is look at the um, the these numbers. We want to look at the percentage of bachelor's degrees or higher um, s by metropolitan area. So in other words, we want to see what metropolitan areas have the highest percentage of those with bachelor's degrees or higher. Okay. And how we want to do that is we're going to go to um, estimate two, and you'll see it, it renamed our column uh, heading from back, um, estimate to estimate two, which is fine. Okay. We want to use the pull down arrow arrow, um, arrow to the right of there. And then we want to sort largest to smallest. Okay, so now Washington uh, D.C. area is at the top because 46.8 percent of um, people in that area have a bachelor's degree or higher, almost 50 percent. And at the bottom of this list now becomes Riverside, San Bernardino, um, California area, with 19.5 percent of people in that area with bachelor's degrees or higher. Okay, and then um, I want to actually further analyze this by looking at the top 10 um, metropolitan areas where um, people have, the top uh, areas where people have bachelor's degrees or higher. So in this particular case, um, we're going to use the same uh, drop down arrow that we did before, right next to estimate 2. We're going to click on there, and then we're going to use number filters, and we have a number of options here. And what we want to do is look at the top 10 uh, metropolitan areas, and those will be the ones that have the highest percentage of people with bachelor's degrees or higher. So we want to look at the top 10, um, top as opposed to the bottom. We could look at the bottom as well, but we're going to look at the top, and we're going to look at 10. We could look at 20, we could look at 30, but in this particular case, we want the top 10. 
and then we can also do it by percentage um, of those in the list but we actually it's already in percentage so what we want to do is actually um, look at the top 10 items on our list not percentage we're going to click OK alright so here we have our top 10 list so these actually are the top um, these are the, the metropolitan areas um, in the US uh, where the by percentage of those who have bachelor's degrees or by percentage of those with bachelor's degrees are higher okay so Washington DC is um, top of the list um, New York made the top 10, Seattle, Minneapolis, Denver, Austin, these metropolitan areas, uh, Raleigh, um, Cary area, Boston, San Francisco, San Jose. These areas um, are areas where they have the greatest uh, percentage of those with bachelor's degrees or higher. Okay, And then what I want to do now, I mean now that we have this data, what do we want to do with it? So let's put it into a chart. So I'm going to select our information here, our top 10. And then I'm actually going to go to insert and we're going to go to charts. Now we have a few here, um, but we can actually use this little uh, arrow here to open up the, um, the, the um, information. And we're going to choose bar, clustered bar is what I like. We're going to hit OK. So now we have our information charted. Um, which it can be used in any number of ways um, that you have that here. Okay. What you'll notice is when we made the chart, it actually um, inverts information and it gives us from uh, largest to smallest, uh, uh, smallest to largest. And we actually want to see it from largest to smallest. We want to actually have it match our, our, um, our table data. It doesn't have to, but I think it just looks better. Um, so I'm just going to select the axis area over here the geographies and you'll see uh, you, you can see it selected because there'll be a little line around all the information and you want to right click and then we want to format the axes okay and of all these options here there's an option that says categories in reverse order so we want to check that and then close okay so now our information matches our table Washington area, um, San Jose, I mean just exactly what we have here except charted. It's one other thing that you may want to this um, um, information at add labels. I mean you could really look and see um, it's here but I think it's always helpful to see what the actual values are. Okay so what we want to do is go to the um, layout options under chart tools and then we'll have data labels. Right here we want to open that up and then you can just choose um, what type of um, where you want the label to be placed um, and let's see what insight and in looks like that's a great spot so then you see the information here so Washington DC 46.8 uh, down to New York uh, New, New York North New Jersey 36 okay so that's just you could always I'm sorry just change the um, title to what you want to be um, and I'm not going to change it now I mean it's, it's easy enough to change the title to match whatever um, information that you're um, displaying in the chart below. Um, so basically that's it. Um, you could also um, change the legend as well. There's some options to do that um, over here and I'm not going to do that. I just want to basically show you how you can analyze the data and how you can chart the data and then like I said you can fine tune it with the different uh, chart um, tools options um, in layout. So I hope you enjoyed this example. Um, and then from time to time, I'll be looking at some other um, U.S. Census Bureau data, analyzing that and charting that as well. If you have any questions, um, I will put my email um, in this uh, video description. You could always email me and go to my website um, and um, have a good day.